Greetings, I'm Rob Chapman. And I'm the captain, fresh from the 80s, uh, with my suntan, which is real, by the way. Um, <laughs> is it with this whole suntan that is real? I just, because the first video when I came back off a of holiday that I did with Pete, every other comment was that I'd coloured myself with boot polish or something and then it's like no this is just what happens when you when you get some sun I was anyway. watching an amazing video um, Joe, Joe Rogan the comedian guy on YouTube was chatting with another guy who did a video for Comedy Central and they're talking right. about this experiment where they made this brown mayonnaise that they, they got people to eat as part of a taste trial and then they told them that after they'd eaten it that they that it contained melanonin and they would gradually become browner <laughs> and then all the people were trying to see anyway it's a funny story Anyway, <laughs> Schechter. Schechter! Um, I was chatting, uh, largely with myself actually earlier on, but, but sort of in passing with some other people about going, one of the things I struggle with with Schechter is that I kind of know, when I look at Jackson or Ibanez or ESP or Fender or Gibson or whatever like that, I kind of know what they were originally and I know when they release a guitar, whether it's something that they're releasing because of heritage versus something they're releasing just because they think it might be popular. And I was thinking with Schecter, it's like, well, what, what, is, what does that guitar look like? You know, what is an original one? Anyway, after some research, it would appear that the Sun Valley series, which is what we're playing today, is kind of where it started for Schecter in the late 70s as, a bit like Charvel, they were a, a, a parts kind of mod shop. Um, well, no, Charbel wasn't a parts company, but Schecter was a parts company that kind of grew into a mod shop for hot rodding up old strats and stuff. And right. so the Sun Valley series is kind of a throwback to those early hot rodded up old guitars. Now, we have to say, before we get much further with this video, that the colour that you are seeing this guitar as is not actually the colour that it is. Because it would appear that in real life, when we look at this guitar, mm. Lee, myself, and everyone else here, this looks yellow. It's, it's like a slightly darker neon yellow, isn't it? But it, it doesn't matter what you do, it looks green on video. Yes. Uh, and in fact, in the online uh, listings of it, it's called Birch Green, I believe. Is now, apparently, this is because it it's... contains a high quantity of Blink 182. Yes. Which means that when you see it, it bypasses the Wiz Khalifa and it allows you to only see a green shade of what's really being given to you. Oh, controversial. This is the last time that we shall mention the curious program uh, that Sasha Baron Cohen is doing at the moment. And uh, anyway, it is... It is dark. So, Sun Valley, we've got three guitars here. We've got a, a, a dual humbucker Floyd Rose guitar. We've got... Um, a single humbucker, but then with the Sustainiac system on it, ebony board, and we've got a sort of a flame top version with an HSS uh, configuration here. Uh, there are a few guitars in the Sun Valley range, which uh, perhaps with the music from the Generation game will be going across the screen right now, and then when it gets to the end and the last one is gone, you have to try and remember the order in which they came across, because that's what they used to do in the Generation game. It's a toaster! Cuddly toy! Have you ever watched Generation? You've never watched the Generation game. I'm 43, mate. Yeah, but that was it was big in the 70s. With, I, was, um, I used to love Ski Sunday. What's his name? The A Team. Clangers. What was the what was the presenter's name? Battle for the Planet. And I'm sure he used to say, "Shut that door." Was his kind of shut that phrase. door. Didn't say it. Said it slightly more camply than that. Shut that door. Um, even more. <laughs> what was his name? <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Go YouTube old versions of the Generation game. It was funny. So I've got a question though, Lee. I'm all open to your questions. Are Rob. these parts upgraded in steel, and then these the softer alloys? Because with, with the more affordable Floyds, these often get mangled. Totally, a bit. and I'm and glad I'm... you. I'm glad you. That is one of the things that uh, Schecter yeah. have. It's a, this is a specially built Floyd Rose trim system for Schecter, where exactly that the parts that perhaps have the um, on the cheaper designs do often the softer metals thread have been upgraded to harder metals. Very cool. So, what a cool um, thing. I've never seen that done before. So what have we got? Basically, these are mahogany guitars. Um, so that, first and foremost, I guess, is a, is a slight departure from what you'd perhaps see if you had a hot rodded up actual Fender. Um, a mix of uh, fretboards, either maple or ebony. No rosewood anymore. Uh, C-shaped, kind of pretty much Fender-esque kind of necks. But again, all with this chamfered away, sort of more ergonomic uh, heel joint, 
lots of different cuts and stuff to enable your hand to get further up and be more comfy. 24 frets, I think, is standard on all of them. Truss rod adjustment, the super easy way of doing it, as opposed to the complicated way or the <coughs> impossible way. Um, EMG Retro 70 Active Pickups. Nice. Never tried those before. Have now. Have now. Uh, still active. Um, a mix, I believe, on the, the, the dual humbucker one. You've got a ceramic humbucker at the bridge, ceramic magnet, sorry, at the bridge. Alnica 5 magnets at the neck. Uh, obviously, you've got, if you go with the, 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 the HSS version, you've got two Retro 70 single coil pickups. Rob's got a Sustainiac at his neck position, which we love. Uh, and according to uh, the EMG spec, it's a kind of that late 70s Van Halen-y It's a kind, kind of magic, vibe. it's what it is. It's a kind of magic. Um, so really, specification-wise, I mean, that's kind of boring because you can go and read that on the internet, but it's, it's all the right specs for a guitar that's trying to be like a hot-rodded Strat. And... Um, yeah. Is it is it wrong to say I, I really like them? No, not at all. You, of course it's you not know, wrong to say it, you like them. Um, Lee, you should feel free to like or dislike anything you like. Yeah, I like it. Or dislike. So, so this, there's a couple of models that have got these um, quilt uh, veneers on the top. So just an aesthetic thing rather than anything designed to try and affect the tone in any way. <laughs> these are Indonesian, aren't they? They are. Crafted in Indonesia. I was uh, hanging out with uh, one of the top guys from Schecter. Why well, say hanging out? We met him and had a sort of 15-minute chat when I was visiting uh, one of our factories in Korea recently. He was a very nice guy. Yeah. We were talking shop, and it was kind of fun to be like two different guitar companies talking shop. Oh, there's, there's. Um, I you know what? I don't know many, and maybe the really, really big guitar companies get slightly competitive with each other. But I think most guitar companies just are quite happy to say there's plenty of, you know, plenty of guitar, plenty of guitar players, plenty yeah. of, uh, you know, most people want to have a bit of everything, don't they? Shut up! Um, so we just do some tones, got a clean fender amp behind me, none of the pedals are on at the moment. Start with the neck single coil pickup from these EMG uh, Active Retro 70s pickups. Uh, neck and middle. Middle. Uh, middle and humbucker. No coil tap functionality on here, just all as they are. And then the final humbucker on its own. So nice set of clean tones. If we add uh, some gain courtesy of the plimsoll. Sounds like you'd hope it would Versatile. for a guitar that looked like that. Do you want to do that one or shall I just quickly, or do you want well, to do that? Well, since I'm holding this one, I'll just do that I'll just one, this one and then I'll do this one last. Mine is a lot more simple, although it, could, it doesn't have Pardon to be me? simple because it's got other bits added to it that we'll talk about later on. But here is a... Here's a middle. Thank you. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I know you've, we've done Sustainiac videos before, but I never remember. Just and I, I'm rubbish. I, I think fifty percent of getting good sounds out of a guitar with Sustainiac system in it is knowing when to turn well, so, it on and off. Yeah, yeah. So there are lots of different ways you can do it, but what I like <laughs> is that one, which turns it into an octave as opposed to just a note. <laughs> And what I do is I add it at the end of a lick, so you, maybe you could do like... That kind of thing. So, for those of you that, that have never seen this kind of tech before, in one of the, the, the coils in that front pickup is working like an Ebo. I don't know if you've ever seen an Ebo before, but it's, it's essentially something that forces the string to vibrate uh, permanently all the time it's switched on. Um, you can hear it without... I've done this before, but yeah. you can hear it without if I... Um, It's actually, it's actually doing it now. You just, I can't you, quite hear it, but. It's so cool. That, I mean, one of the things that I've never, I've always struggled with that is one of the things Rob's really good at is muting the five strings that he doesn't want to ring whilst no. letting the one string, and you're almost doing it just subconsciously, I think. Yeah. Um, it's the hybrid picking, because I'm leaving my fingers on yeah. the strings. Uh, but that's super cool. I love that guitar. Um, very, very cool. Uh, so then the final option you've you got in, the, in, in the, the Sun Valley range is to just go with uh, a two humbucker uh, version. Which also has no single coil, had no coil taps on it. In fact, it's got no tone control on it by the looks of things either. We, we've well gone super 80s here, hang on. We've got that reverse wrong way round, right way round, depending on how you look at it, kind of ESP thing, where the first control is the volume for the bridge pickup and the second control is the volume for the neck pickup. Not massively intuitive if you've played a lot of other guitars, but actually, if you're thinking that the bulk of your work is gonna be on the, on the bridge pickup, it's actually easier to have the volume control for it there than on the neck one. Yeah. So anyway, so that was the, uh, so no tone control. <laughs> Both together. Bridge. cool guitar I don't know how many of them are available in this matte finish uh, matte finish is kind of it it's kind of cool but you can't repolish the guitar once you've kind of got your oily dirty finger marks on it it's uh, they're pretty much there to stay obviously your traditional gloss finishes clean up much easier if that's important to you um, and these are all Round about the seven, eight, nine hundred pound mark, depending on what spec you go for. There's Can I try that one through my? Yeah, amp. there are seven string versions of uh, seven string versions of the of the flamey ones. Anyway, left-handed left versions too. <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Andertons Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. 
if you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.